Hey guys, Jessica here. Uh, so I wanted to talk today about overdraft fees. Uh, before we get started, you could probably hear from my voice. I have a little bit of a cold, uh, but I wanted to put this video out for you guys. I have my tea here and hey, if the video does well, we'll film another one with my normal voice. So jumping into it. In a previous video, we covered a bunch of ways in terms of avoiding overdraft fees. So I'll link to that video up here. But let's say you've already been hit with an overdraft fee. Honestly, it happens to all of us. My last overdraft fee was not that long ago, probably a few months ago. Basically, I had gotten a new credit card and then forgot to account for that bill in my budgeting spreadsheet. As a side note, why the hell are we all still budgeting using Excel spreadsheets? It makes no sense, but that's a topic for another day. Anyway, that bill hit on a day when a lot of other bills um, hit at the same time and boom, $35 overdraft fee. As I mentioned, banks are not kind about this stuff. It's a huge profit center for them. So however they can catch you, they'll probably catch you. Uh, so I'm gonna talk today about how to get out of an overdraft fee because sometimes the answer is simple as a phone call. Uh, and I know phone calls are pretty painful, but uh, I'm gonna cover four tips on things you can say to make that conversation um, as quick and as effective as possible. The first thing is to know your chances and be confident. If this is your first or second overdraft fee with this bank, then your chances are actually pretty good. I mean, everybody makes mistakes, so don't beat yourself up about this and you know, be confident in the knowledge that your bank is likely to work with you on this. The second thing is to contact the bank immediately. The last thing you want to do is to delay and then forget about it, so make sure you call the bank as soon as you notice the fee. The third thing is how you make that ask and then the specific things that you need to include in that ask to make it you know, that much more effective. So there are a few things that are super key. The first one is that you should explain the situation and explain that it was a mistake. And then the second thing is that you need to give them a timeline for when your uh, bank account will be positive again, the sooner the better. And then the last thing is that you should highlight that you've been with this bank for you know, a certain number of years and you've had a very good record of not running into um, challenges like overdraft fees in the past. Specifically, here's a script for you guys so you don't have to expend brain cells coming up with one on your own. Hi, my name is Jessica. I noticed an overdraft fee in my account. Yes, it looks like your bank account went negative. I'm very sorry about that. I signed up for a new credit card and I forgot to account for the bill. This won't happen again and I've already transferred money into the account. I've been a customer uh, of you guys for over two years and this is my first overdraft. Can you please waive the fee? Hmm, I think I can waive the fee. During the conversation, make sure to stay polite and patient. Uh, you know, I've done my share of customer service phone calls before. It's like the scariest job on the planet. So don't forget that they're human on the other end. Lastly, if the tips I mentioned before aren't working, don't give up just yet. Ask the representative to connect you with a supervisor and try again. In the end, it's ultimately the bank's decision whether to waive that overdraft fee. But if you don't pick up that phone, then you know, you're likely missing out on a good chance of getting your money back. And that's it. Remember that banks will only generally waive overdraft fees a few times, so the best approach is just to try to avoid them altogether. Like, one approach is to switch banks. Uh, for more tips like that, um, check out up here, we did another video on how to avoid overdraft fees. I'd love to hear from you guys also, so if you have experience contacting your bank, would love to hear uh, you know, what worked for you. Leave us a comment below. And also wanted to say that you should check out Uprise. Um, our link is in the description below. Basically, we can take a look at your specific situation, help you figure out you know, how to avoid fees um, and other optimizations for your personal finances. Uh, we do it completely for free, and on average, we put 100K in net worth back into people's pockets. Other than that, if you'd like to see more videos like this one, please give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and click that bell for notifications. See you guys next time.